Hey guys, out of orange here. So we are back here on a snowy, snowy day um, here in the East Coast. It is very blizzardish. It's been awesome. No one expected the snow to hit, but it did. Anyway, so we are here with some awesome, awesome Life is Strange. This is episode two. We are in part two. So we are going to be continuing on from where we last left off, where we put all the truck pieces together. We're chilled in the car. It is now nighttime. Let's do this. Shit. I slept all day. What the hell? She's having a dream. Crows are always a bad sign. Always a bad sign. Dad? This is kind of creepy, not gonna lie. Oh, did I not? Sorry. Dad? What are we doing here? I wonder if it burned like this the day... the day it happened. Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized, too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Sorry, my nose keeps the Fire blinds us. Just like darkness, but darkness blinds with absence, with loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. But sometimes there's a greater beauty yet to come. Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of yeah. what? I had a feeling it's gonna be creepy. Of getting burned.
I have a feeling that's going to get a little sour. I was expecting that. <laughs> crows, man. You always know with crows. It's purposely done. Chloe. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. I like these two. So, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A rainbow towel? A freaky red light? Holy shit. The all-seeing eye. <laughs> Figured it can't hurt to have the Illuminati on our side for whenever shit goes down. Always thinking ahead. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also gonna need some money. <laughs> you know, to buy stuff. Uh-huh. Car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? Luckily, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually suspended you. Really? I'd say it's like the most believable thing that's ever happened to anyone in the history of forever. I'm just so pissed about the play. How could they let Victoria Chase jack your role? Because life is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Yeah, totally. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Last I checked, you're the one who went all puff the manic dragon on that tree last night. What were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But come on, doesn't accomplice sound way cooler than accessory after the fact? <laughs> is that the official Arcadia Bay DA's opinion? Accomplice it is. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Well, Doc. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks <sighs> he's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm, that's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. All right. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got?
He's uh, a skeptic because he's overly sensitive and he thinks he's way more important than he is. Also, he's a dick. Poetic. May I also suggest stepladder? Why stepladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Ew! And pretty soon, <laughs> they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. I've been booted from school, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean, how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well-adjusted. I'd bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> Touché, Doc. So, my new friend, who everyone thinks is perfect, did something batshit fucking nutso last night. What do I do? This perfect friend of yours, who I'm assuming is also an exceptional beauty, sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life. Someone who is also, may I add, a knockout in the lips department. <laughs> Perhaps this friend of yours, who, I reiterate, must be just stunning, needed someone in her life to teach her. How to steal wine from yuppie picnickers? How not to give a fuck. Because she was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. That makes sense. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. Talk I about the truck. kind of fix the truck a bit. That might mean I have life skills, something I've really tried to avoid. Upshot, I'm closer to becoming a car thief. That's pretty mm. badass. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like Everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? You couldn't be like him even if you wanted to. You're too awesome. The fact that you believe that makes me feel better. Hmm. Shit, it's playtime. Gotta go clean out my dressing room for Victoria. Not exactly the role I thought I'd be playing tonight. Oh well. Hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. <laughs> I'm in. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. 
Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. Hello, Junk Shack. So I'm just pat my cat. Alright, so the first thing's <laughs> first to check out is Rachel graffiti. Amber's mystery bag. So this is graffiti number four. It's a pretty easy one, it's just at the hideout. Nothing too specific. That's actually what I was doing. I was uh, doing my just prepping my graffitis for our next encounters while I was waiting for them to chit chat away. All right. Anyway, all right. So I believe we can change our clothes now too. Um, before we do that, let's kind of fix it up a little bit. Check this bag out while we're looking. Might be clothes or something. Remember, it has it. You can change your clothes once in every episode. So a bag full of clothes. Yes, I need those. Okay, so we should be able to change our clothes now. <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. Yeah, so we can, I think, change our... Yep, the bonus outfits. So these are the bonus outfits. Um, we can finally wear them. For some reason, the last time I did this, it would not let me change. She looks kind of very... um. Reminds me of, oh my gosh, the chicken the first one. I can't think about it. Gosh, she's like so easy. I just like, oh, I guess I'll change. Um, well, what do we do? Oh gosh, I don't even know which one we did. Just keep changing, I guess. Hey, kitty. I kind of like this one. I like the little hot dog. She's like, ah, back at it again. Back to the changing. Okay, maybe it was the Illuminati that we haven't done? I don't know. I kind of like, it's sad that I don't remember. Yeah, it's the one we haven't done. I think this might be the one I pick. I kind of like it. Oh yeah, I definitely like this one. This is the best one. Definitely picking this one. Alright, let's do it. We got some bonus outfits, so like, why not use them? I'm upset that we couldn't use them to begin with. She walks so like, oh yeah, that's right. No one fucks with me. We got some um, text to look at too. Hmm. It's pretty nice. I kind of want to see what the other outfits are. Like, there's still, like, this one and that one. Okay, sorry, guys. I just gotta know. I'm too curious now. Ugh, no. I don't like that. I mean, it's kind of nice, but... Eh. 
Oops, back to making more decisions. <laughs> Let's try out this one. Oh, is that the alpha we originally started out? I think it is. All right, I'm going to go back to the Illuminati one then. At least I showed you guys all the outfits. I like this one too. It's nice. I just like the Illuminati one more. I'm getting texties. Anyway, all right. Let's go back to the bonus ones. I like all of them, to be fair. Like, all of them in their own way. But I think the Illuminati was like, the cutest on her. Alright. Ooh, sorry, I'm like itchy today. Anyway, so back to what we were doing. Let's look at our text here. Max, here. That Max that's her name. Never send. I'm at the junkyard now. At least journal Max won't abandon me the way real Max did. Hmm, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of... A lot of messages. Oh my god, anyway. Alright, so I think if we want to continue forward, I think we just Frank's have to outside. go outside. I should yeah. get going if I'm done changing. Let me put this... Is there any... Is there any other signs I can put up? Is that it? I think that is alright, so let's go outside. Leave. I want to leave. I don't want to be in this place anymore. That's the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. Weird. Yeah, that is a little weird. <laughs> I agree. Frank, it's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password drugs? Christ, get your ass in here. It smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that one? Ah! Oh. God. Jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. Okay, so we're on graffiti mark number five on, now. I'm fetching things for Frank. And it's right Hello, here. Can I go? Got it. I picked work. So that's graffiti number five. Wish list. <laughs> Alright, so let's continue on here. Oh yeah, he's gonna become a big doggy waiter on you. The little killer. Hmm. What's in the cabinet? It's a lot of beans. What's in here? 
Frank must be spending hundreds of dollars on this dog. Yeah, let's go get that notebook that he wants so badly. Hello? Frank's knife. Look at A it. Swingy, flippy instrument of death. Someone's a messy eater. Frank and his BFF. That's. Is this what I think it is? Ah, shit. I'm in the red. Damn, yeah, it's a lot of money. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. Don't mind if I do. Don't even fucking think about it. Damn. Huh? <laughs> Poor Frank. Next time, try. Oh, man. Rachel the therapist would have a field day with this. Shit. The mill burned down. Jeez. That's an expensive dog. Fight the power. <sighs> Sorry, Frank. I didn't know it was your RV when I wrote that. <laughs> oh, man. I hope Argus and Bowser are okay. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadour, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? Okay, so who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Listen to your opponent and choose a related comeback. Okay, Dude, hopefully we can do this. I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. Frank, you know I hate everyone. Who do you think I'm gonna tell? Come on, Price. I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. Hey, so... Uh, I had this dream the other night about a cloud that swallowed Arcadia Bay. You too? See? We're a lot alike, Frank. We've got shit in common. Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? Come on, Frank. This is Arcadia Bay. Gossip is all we have to keep us from hanging ourselves out of boredom. I don't know. Frank. Talk. And I'll get my mom to make you something special. Like what? Uh... How about that firehouse chili of hers? You, you got it. The woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. Showed up a few weeks ago. Causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Like who? It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble, exactly? Forget about it, Chloe. Shouldn't have opened my mouth. Thanks... for... telling me. Whatever. You hear the mill burn down? Yeah. I, uh... heard some stuff about it. Crazy. 
My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. How about you? Did you lose anything in the fire? No. But I'll probably get pulled into whatever shit Damon's dealing with right now. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. Is this about the buck 75? What? The money that I owe you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. Wait, <laughs> do you have it? Give me like another week. I don't have enough right now. I wonder if I'll ever get tired of your crap. You're lucky you're the least of my problems. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Yeah, he's... Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with him? Uh, he's an unreliable douchebag. No, this is the first time he's done this. The kid's actually smart. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Yeah, of course, but what's in it for me? Idiot, you still owe me. So, if I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. Uh, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got suspended this morning. Congratulations. It's still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. Mm. Interesting. I think I'd be back this soon. Well, here goes nothing. Okay, so there are two graffitis in this area. We're about to do the first one. The first one is right here. You just walk through it. Oh, abandon all hope tempest. Welcome to hell. <laughs> Tread harshly. Alright, so there's that one. Anyway, so we did that. So now we gotta get into the dorms. 
one way or another. Locked. Figures. Looks like my options are become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. Such a nice white door. Though, it feels like it's missing something, doesn't it? Too bad I can't tag it with Samuel standing right there. Hey, Samuel. Keeping busy? Always, Chloe Price. I didn't think you'd be returning to these hallowed halls so soon. <laughs> Neither did I. I have the feeling it wasn't uh, the books or bricks of Blackwell that led you back. <laughs> what? You're here for someone, a special someone, yes? I'm, uh, <laughs> looking for Drew North. Most look at Drew North and see only the athlete, but he is more than that. He is? A great heart. He has, with much love and no room for fear. <sighs> I've always thought he was kind of a bully. He may be that, too. No one is just one thing. What do you think of uh, Rachel Amber? Rachel Amber is a dragon made of diamonds. That's, uh... Deep. <laughs> do you just make this shit up on the fly, or do you, like, write it down beforehand? Are you angry all the time because you like the way it feels, or is it merely a desperate defense against experiencing true intimacy with others? So, uh, <laughs> what about Elliot Hampton? Have you seen him recently? I only see what Elliot wants me to see. Okay... Usually I can see both what people want me to see and what they want to keep hidden. And, uh... What, what do I want to keep hidden? That you are lonely. And afraid. It's okay not to be okay, Chloe Price. I've got to go, man. Uh, <laughs> it's been real. I often wonder what real is. Farewell, Chloe Price. This has been useless. There has to be another way to lure him out. Let's get him out of the janitor's office because one, keys are right here, and two, the graffiti mark that we need to do is right there. Nice work, Samuel. Bingo. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? Hmm. Maybe we gotta screw on with the sprinklers then. If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. But Evan is right there. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at home thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Dude, why do you care about my questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. <laughs> Did Evan just call me intelligent? Damn straight. 
Wow. Evan looks really ridiculous. Hey, uh, Evan? As intelligent as you look right now, you can still see that bird from where I'm standing. I appreciate your concern, but I want to get this shot exactly right. And I've learned something about myself recently. I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. For example, I've been trying to get the students and administration interested in forest fire prevention. That is kind of an odd topic to focus on. People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. You see what happened? <laughs> Looks like you were right. <laughs> Go, Evan. You're a hero of the people. I know you feel like I do. A about different things, I'm sure. But you only give a shit about what you give a shit about. I like that. A anyway, you're not supposed to be here. You should leave. Oh, dang it. Hey! Shit. I wanted you to go the other way. Like, as far as possible, the other way. Time for a fresh start. Here we go. One small flight for this bird, one giant leap backward for Chloe Price. Almost there. If I can scare that bird far enough away, maybe... Gotcha! Oh, perfect. You're welcome. Awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the... <laughs> that works. All right, let's do this. First, let's get our next graffiti mark, which is number six now. Right here. Such oh, a nice the wrong button. white door. Though, let's graffiti mark it. So those are the two in the dormitories. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no. Okay, so let's grab the keys. 
Sorry, Samuel. Let's go. All right. Time to find Drew's room. No time like the present. Chloe? <laughs> hey, Skip. How's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Didn't you just get suspended? Relax. I'm just uh, visiting a friend. I, I can't. I, I really can't just let you go in. I'm going inside, dude. You're just gonna have to let this slide. I don't think I can. In fact, I think I have to ask you to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. What's my official business? I'm going to the bathroom. Is that what you wanted to hear? Is that interesting to you? What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. Your job is creepy, then. Which makes you kind of a creeper. Oh, it's not like that. Do you know what Wells would do to me if I didn't, you know, patrol? Is Wells pressuring you to write more students up? I'm not even a student, but sure. Don't let that stop you. I thought we were friends. Where is this coming from? I, I thought we were friends too, but when the man comes down on you, you come down on me. Is that it? Look, look, look. I am really sorry, Chloe. I'm just so confused right now. You're... you're sorry? Y you just looked at my tits. You, you did. You stared right at them. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do. Seriously, my uterus is on fire, dude. W what? Is that... Uh, descriptive? Enough. I don't want to know about. En fuego utero, Skip. En fuego utero. I don't, I don't know <laughs> what to say. I'm so sorry. Matthews. Huh. I'm here. I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. Oh, thank God. Oh, I'm on it. I won't tell Wells. Do what you have to do, okay? I won't tell anyone. <laughs> In we go. Let's see what we got here. All right. Which one is Drew's room? Okay, so we're first going to do the, um, we're going to do the seventh, gosh, what's it called? Graffiti. This is Elliot's room. And, uh, we're gonna look at the computer here in a second. It's got some secrets on it. Elliot's mom seems lucky Dana. <sighs> Warren Graham is such a... There's way less porn here than I would have thought.
Oh, sorry. Sure. This is where we're gonna go. Okay, we're gonna read the journal. That's not half bad. Okay. Dark. Who is it that Elliot's writing about? Elliot is way more artistic than I thought. <laughs> Wait, are these about me? <laughs> what the fuck, Elliot? Okay, so now that we've read that, let's close the drawer just so, you know, we don't get any issues here. Okay, so when you do the diary talk and you figure out that he's talking about you, come out of here. And then, now we have the opportunity to graffiti mark this whiteboard. So first we gotta erase what's already there. And then we can graffiti it. Elliot likes to write poetry about me, eh? <laughs> what do I want to say in response? Should we be a poet? Let's be a poet. Emotional. Loyal. Introverted. Uh, odd. And talented. <laughs> Alright, so we got that. Um, we're about 51 minutes in. We still got three graffiti marks and the rest of the section going on here. So I'm actually probably just going to end the video here and just continue on in the next section. Um, as always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a pleasure. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Please like, subscribe, comment, do what I do to make it your happy. And as always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.